I think about six to seven years now, one of the hashtags I use a lot on social media has been the word clueless. And so I heard you asking if we are just clueless. And I think the answer to that is yes. We have been clueless for a very long time. And the effect of our cluelessness is what we are all going through today. It's the cluelessness that has led to the corruption, the greed that you see all around you. And it is that greed and the corruption that has led to the mounting public debt. Randy, the public debt is the problem. Is the reason why even when we are unable to pay the debts, the city continue to struggle with the dollar or other foreign currencies. It's the public debt, the unsustainable public debt that has all been used for consumption. And through the consumption, a chunk of it has been siphoned. And I'm happy you said we'll be making time to discuss SML. It's one of the very many examples of how we have lost money, hard-earned Ghana cities, that could have been invested in areas and sectors to save us from the economic mess that we find ourselves. And it is as a result of the cluelessness and the corruption that makes me conclude that the dishonesty of this government tends to even be more annoying than their mismanagement. Because we see the cluelessness and we see the corrupt acts all around us. And yet the stories that they tell suggest to us that we are just yo-yos, like we have no brain in our heads. Look, this public debt is what has led to the economic uncertainty all over. And so investors are all holding back. Businesses that are already operating are different when it comes to expanding their investments because of the economic uncertainty. And the uncertainty is as a result of our inability to manage the debt. And we all know that these debts, when they were being accumulated, were not pumped in productive sectors. And it is the reason why we are unable to pay. I mean, even commodity prices, that could have come as a way of cushioning us. Because if you look at the world today, the, uh, 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 gold, the price of gold, cocoa, and others are going up. We are in arrangements that do not impact us positively. And that is why Cocoa Board of all institutions is heavily indebted when it has no reason whatsoever to be in debt. And so, even though cocoa prices are going up, it has no impact on our economy and cannot save our city because of the arrangements that we went into initially. So, really, I sometimes fear for the day the frog will die. Because our people say that you truly appreciate the length of the frog or the toad after it dies. And so with the evidence that we are not paying our debts, yet we are unable to manage the relationship between our CD and the dollar, I dare say that the reasons you and I may be proffering today may even be less grievous than the real reasons. And that is why it is important that we all do what we can to kill this frog, quote and unquote, so that we can truly appreciate the depth of our problems.
and begin remedial steps. Otherwise, look, we will just be in this country one day and some people will come and tell us that it has been sold to them. We no longer belong here. Because where we are going, I initially said that you could reduce our problems to just three E's, economic, education, and environment. But, Randy, it seems every sector you closely pay attention to, you cannot miss the crisis that awaits the next government to resolve. You can't miss the crisis in every sector. Look at the economic mess. And you think that is the worst that the next government will have to deal with. And then you turn your attention to education. No textbooks. Only pass questions. We don't even have a reliable timetable. And all we are thinking about is painting school blocks and changing their uniforms. Of all the problems that our educational sector is faced with, how could painting school buildings, changing the color of the paint of school buildings and uniforms be a priority? So you think the economy is the worst that the next government will face until you turn attention to the education sector and you wonder which one the next government should prioritize in terms of fixing the problems that we are faced with as a country. As for the environment, we are all living witnesses of the devastation caused to our forest reserves and our water bodies as a result of, again, the greed of leading members of this government who are championing and leading the mining in our, uh, forest, and for, uh, uh, our forest reserves and water bodies. So, I think that the problem that we face today is that we have a clueless administration office that preached competence and its ability to manage the economy using textbooks theories mm -hmm. in the past. But having been handed over the job every step of the way, their cluelessness 